baby, I love you way every day. Hi, everyone. Bethany Singtano here, the Internet's busiest music nerd. You know what it is. It is time for our weekly track roundup where I go over what I felt were the best and the worst tracks of the week. Of course, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, the very good people over at SeatGeek. They are a wonderful app that aggregates tickets and ticket prices from around the web. So if you want to see a concert, you don't got to go digging for or searching for that ticket all around the web. They also have a very convenient color system letting you know uh, green being a good deal, red being a bad deal, whether or not you're getting a good price for that ticket. Their in-app view from seat lets you see where you are going to be sitting. And when you grab the app down below via the link we have placed in the description box, use promo code DROP to get $20 off your first order. That is promo code DROP. Again, hit up that link down below to find more info and get the app. Shout out to SeatGeek. Support them because they support us. All right, moving on from there, we have, of course, our Amazon and Turntable Lab associate links in the description box, too. Especially that Turntable Lab link if you guys want to spoil uh, spoil yourselves with some colorful pressings of records that we have covered and talked about on the main YouTube channel. We get kicked back from it. And let's get into the worst tracks of the week. The worst, 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 worst tracks of the week huh? all right uh first off let's kick it with this uh <laughs> new track from juice world it seems like every relevant rapper these days i thought this was gonna die in 2019 but it seems like every relevant rapper these days has to come out with some like bad dance hall influenced ballad that is that is really not uh that good and uh, that that would be this song Juice World over here. That would be this this track over here. So if, if you're looking to hear Juice Juice World uh, kind of riff on uh, a somewhat half-assed pop rap dance hall beat blend, uh, then give this track "Hear Me Calling" a shot. Uh, despite this, though, I am still looking forward to his new full-length LP. Could be good. Could be a, a new level for this whole emo rap emo trap thing. I guess we'll see. Uh, moving on from there. Moving, 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 keeping it moving. Uh, of course, I did not really care for the new Jonas Brothers track all that much. Uh, Sucker, it's a very bland piece of uh, overproduced pop. Uh, not a lot of flavor and personality coming out of it. It's very basic. It's very plain. It's very average. I, I just don't really get much out of it. Uh, moving on from there, not really digging on the new AV tear cut either which is really kind of devoid of anything exciting. Uh, it's, it's very tedious, I guess I'll say. Very, very tedious, which I, I do tend to find uh, is the case with a lot of Animal Collective solo material, but um, I don't know. I guess it's uh, uh, to the point where it's, uh, I, I guess, a, a little disheartening with this uh, AV tear cut over here. Just could not really uh, get much out of it, uh, no matter how much I tried to sit through the whole thing and, and read into it and, and uh, just eat up what little details there were in it. All right, let's move on to the tracks I thought were uh, kind of meh, not terrible, but certainly worth your attention, worth pointing in your direction. You might dig them a little bit more than me. Uh, first off, we have this new track over here from Zachary, who you might remember made a, a vocal appearance on Kendrick Lamar's Damn. I, I didn't really care for his feature. Uh, didn't really get much out of it, but I thought he brought uh, a lot more vocal heat on this new cut over here uh, with his uh, buttery baby boy voice. Uh, he also came through with some very uh, interesting production and overall a decent tune. So I don't know. I, I guess I'm kind of looking forward to what this guy's going to be doing in the future, even though my first introduction to him and his stuff uh, didn't really care for it all that much, to be honest. Uh, moving on from there, we have a new cut from the drums, which... Uh, I don't know, it feels like the band's uh, old school indie and punky energy is, is slipping away on this cut over here. The name of the song is 626 Bedford Avenue. Uh, it's got some playful, uh, lovey-dovey lyrics that are so saccharine that it gets kind of uh, stomach churning to a point, uh, but I do kind of like the the very playful and, and bubbly energy of the song. You know, the, the band is really going pop on this cut, but not so far that it's a uh, ruined their sound or their vibe or anything like that. You know, I, I guess just give it a try, give it a shot, give it a give it give it a try, give it an attempt. Uh, moving on from there, Caro Caro Benito has a brand new cut out as well, a non-album track that they have released titled "The Open Road," and I guess on this song they are kind of reflecting on exactly that and um, 
it, it just sort of seems like the band is uh, moving backwards a little bit on this cut over here, while they are still very much in that indie rock and uh, kind of uh, twee noise pop uh, space that they inhabited on their last full-length album. Uh, the tune and the production is nowhere near as like you know sticky or as mind blowing uh, as it was on that record. You know, seems like a little uh, um, uh, a little rough uh, this time around. But hey, you know, Caro Caro Benito is still a, a pretty great band, and and uh, some piece of music from them is certainly better than a no piece of music from them. So can't complain too much about that. Uh, moving on from there, Diane Coffee has a brand new track out, which. Feels like equal parts, um, like futuristic synth pop, but then there's also like some splashes of Prince in there as well. Uh, it's not bad. I, I think uh, maybe it didn't go far enough for me, or that there were some elements of it that I found to be a little underwhelming. But uh, uh, not ready to go is is still, I think, a must listen for uh, uh, the synth pop heads out there. Uh, moving on from there, there is a brand new cut from Deaf Heaven. Uh, which everybody is kind of making a huge deal out of. And, um, I mean, I think it's decent. The band is going in a somewhat surprising direction. I mean, I like that it's a change of pace from the uh, really awful post-rock black metal, uh, I don't know what, emo blends <laughs> that were on their last full-length record that I thought were kind of a mess. Uh, this new track over here, which is titled Black Brick, is actually a pretty straightforward piece of piece of just, just I don't know, no no uh, frills black metal. It's just some straight old school black metal with the uh, chilly atmospheric production, the super harsh guitar distortion, the vocals don't even sound like what you would typically hear on a Def Heaven track. They just sound like an old school black metal throwback. Um, aesthetically and stylistically, it is so paint by the numbers black metal. It's kind of shocking. Uh, if there's anything about the track that really stood out to me, it's that it's a it's a pretty long, epic, and winding black metal composition. You know, there are multiple phases to it. A lot of them are very cool. The uh, performance is pretty ferocious, but I guess it's kind of difficult, again, aesthetically, to get a full grip of exactly what the band is trying to do this time around on just this single track, because just based on sound alone, it really just kind of seems like this could be an old-school black metal band playing this track or something. Um, and I, I guess I'll just uh, leave it at that. All right, moving on from there, American Football does have a brand-new single out, Every Wave to Ever Rise, featuring Elizabeth Powell. Uh, sadly, was not as into this single as their last one. I thought the vocals were kind of underwhelming and that the song eventually grew kind of, kind of, kind of tedious, even if the guitars are very pretty and very sparkly and a... Uh, uh, the sad, mellow beauty of the song will most likely appeal to hardcore fans, but it wasn't really doing too much for me. Uh, and let's move into the tracks that I thought were uh, the best. The best this week. The tracks that really kind of blew me away, stuck with me, left an impression on ya boy. Uh, first off, we have this brand new cut over here from Wand, uh, a band that uh, typically dabbles in psychedelic rock that uh, previously I was never all that into, never thought... Uh, uh, their stuff was amazing, but now they're really just uh, uh, kind of I, I just wowing me with this uh, the, this new strain of of tracks they've been dropping, teaser tracks they've been dropping in preparation for this new record. Uh, this one is a bit of a slow burner, but I do like the very angular and busy layers of guitar uh, that play throughout these somewhat mellow verses, and the band eventually brings it to this amazing, explosive, kind of abrasive climax in the second leg, which is actually kind of incredible. Uh, wand record over here is, is definitely one I am looking forward to uh, this year. Moving on from there, Tierra Whack has a brand new cut out, which is uh, pretty quirky. It's titled Clones. Uh, seems almost like a very weird idea that she could have fit onto her last full-length album, but she actually extended it out to like two minutes and change. Uh, it's pretty fun. Uh, the verses are cool. The beat is super uh, zany, and uh, her personality is off the charts on this one. Uh, moving on from there, Australian artist Stella Donnelly, who I was not really uh, all that well-versed in the work in uh, prior to being exposed to this new cut over here. To be completely honest, it's titled Tricks, and it is a very jaunty and uh, 
bubbly piece of indie pop with some great guitars and some very witty and clever and playful lyrics. It's just a lot of fun, okay? It's just a really fun song. You like fun, don't you? Then listen to this thing. All right, moving on from there, we have a new cut from Sin Kane, an artist who I, I was exposed to him first when I, I heard that record he dropped on DFA a handful of years ago, and uh, it, it didn't really do all that much for me. But uh, he's got a brand new single over here titled Everybody, which sounds very much unlike uh, the music from him that I've heard in the past. And it's, it's kind of a refreshing mix of rock and roll and psych rock and Afrobeat music and protest music. Uh, it's got some great group vocals on it, a fantastic energy. I just kind of love the revolutionary vibe of the track quite a bit. Um, definitely going to be looking forward to his next record if he's got more tracks coming down the pipe like this. Uh, moving on from there, Show Me the Body has a brand new raw, punky, and off-the-wall track over here. Show Me the Body always has a, a very smart way of uh, embracing a lot of tenets of punk music while simultaneously working in a lot of weird experimental bits that just kind of make their sound uh, very odd and, and kind of unique. Uh, Madonna Rocket is the name of this new cut over here. Uh, the band Pup also has a brand new track out, which in my opinion uh, may be their best single to date, honestly. Even with uh, some of the great singles off of their last full-length album, Free at Last is the name of this new one. Uh, pay special attention to the uh, uh, kind of self-defeatist lyrics. Uh, the punk energy of the track is fantastic. The guitars are kind of wild and super catchy. Love it quite a bit. Uh, moving on from there, this is a group that previously I, I had not known about. Uh, they have a new record, or at least they're coming out with music via Father Daughter Records, and uh, the name of this group is Partner, and uh, this track is Tell You Off, and it is a very tongue-in-cheek, silly piece of hipster country uh, with some great vocals, uh, hilarious lyrics, funny lyrics, funny, funny lyrics, and um, I don't know, just like an odd premise to the tune. Uh, telling someone off, uh, <laughs> which is a, a kind of badass, I guess. It's it's very it's a very mean tune, uh, mean in spirit and uh, mean in terms of, uh, I don't know, I guess uh, it, it's enjoyability. All right, moving on from there, Matmos has released two songs and music videos uh, this week, Breaking Bread and also Thermoplastic Riot Shield. If you know anything about the duo and their eclectic sample style and their uh, very busy and dense approach to electronic music, you will get a lot out of these two new tracks. I am absolutely excited for this Plastic Anniversary album uh, coming out very soon. Hype, 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 hype. Uh, moving on from there, we have a brand new single as well from Gustavo Stein and uh, Pharrell Williams. Uh, liking this single a lot more than the one he did with The Weeknd, frankly. Uh, the tune is great, Pharrell's energy and vocals are on point, and the production is very groovy and hard-hitting. Uh, maybe not as dark and as gritty as some of the other stuff that I enjoy. Uh, from from Gustavo Stein in the past, uh, you know, I should say his name silly because I'm a silly man. I apologize. Um, maybe not as hard hitting or as gritty as the stuff from him that I've heard in the past, uh, but still pretty good. Still pretty sick. Uh, moving on from there, Fortet has a brand new single out. It's actually one of his most riveting singles in a long time. The title of it is Only Human. It's got a great groove, fantastic beats. Uh, these wonderful uh, group vocal samples of what sounds like a, a group of of uh, kids or singers just chanting or singing in unison, uh, almost in like a, a ritualistic fashion. It's uh, pretty exciting and uh, love it quite a bit. The vibe, the energy of the song is amazing. Uh, moving on from there, Foles have a brand new single out, which is uh, kind of a slow burner for the first leg, and then it explodes into a pretty incredible and a somewhat experimental poppy display in the latter half that I think is pretty great. Uh, definitely hype for this new Foles record when it does drop. Uh, Carly Rae Jepsen. Yes, the Carly is back with two new singles. Um, look, Carly's last single I thought was okay. Uh, came with a very quirky and sexual music video. It was fun. It was tongue-in-cheek. Uh, but the tune to me really just kind of fell flat. Uh, but these uh, two new tracks, in my opinion, these two new, new, new tracks, uh, Now That I Found You and No Drug Like Me, are uh, sexy they have great production, it's very bright, it's very punchy, maybe not as throwback and as synth-pop inspired um, as uh, Emotion was, which a lot of people love that record, 
I like that record quite a bit. Uh, also love, uh, you know, the Emotion Extras, too. A lot of people living and dying by that album. Um, and yes, that aesthetic kind of dying off, uh, it sounds like, with this record, with these new tracks. Uh, but the tunes at the core of these cuts are still really good. It's it's quality dance pop. I can't really complain about it too much. It's still very fun, still very bubbly. It's not overproduced to the point where it's got no flavor or anything like that. Um, yeah, it's it's just quite catchy, sweet, and uh, enjoyable. And that's, that's really all I got to say about it. Uh, moving on from there. Oh, oh no. And Blue have come together onto a new record that just dropped this week. I want to turn you guys onto this track over here that is linked down below in the description box, along with all these other ones, Pop Shots. Not going to say too much about it because I do want to talk about this record sooner rather than later, and uh, it's it's very enjoyable. In my opinion, Blue has not sounded this this hungry on a track on a record for uh, quite a long time, and his pairing with Oh No is uh, really just kind of a match made in heaven. All right, moving on from there, uh, Big Thief, a group that previously I was not all that huge into, have come through with a very smart and interesting song in sound and in concept, uh, UFOF. Uh, pay special attention to the lyrics on this track because, you know, not a lot of groups, uh, especially of this style, write songs about, I guess, the extraterrestrial, uh, which at, is, at least seems to be inspired by, uh, in, in a very creative and an interesting way. Uh, but also, I, I love the subtle beauty of this track quite a bit as well. Um, and uh, I, I guess I'll just leave it at that. It's a very uh, slow-burning, quiet, beautiful tune uh, with some almost like uh, mystical qualities to it. And I think the, uh, the, the lyrics, uh, the concept of the, the lyrics uh, elevates that quite a bit. Uh, moving on from there, I think this is our last one. I want to give a shout-out to uh, Baby Mother for this new track over here, Dragon, which is uh, just kind of a, a straight display of bars on bars on bars on bars on bars, uh, which are pretty great. And she just has a great energy on uh, this. Uh, uh, this It seems like almost like a freestyle in a way. Um, has a great energy on the track. Her flow is just relentless and nonstop. It's actually pretty impressive how long and, and just like hard she goes on this track. Uh, definitely going to be looking for more material from her in the future based off of this performance alone. And uh, we are going to leave it at that. That has been our weekly track roundup, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, also linked down there below, which I did not mention earlier, I do want to say I am doing a tour on the West Coast this May. The dates are all right here. We've got one in Vancouver on the 6th of May. From there, we go to Seattle, Portland, San Fran, Los Angeles, San Diego, Hope to see you guys at these dates. Some of them are selling out quite quickly, so do get tickets sooner rather than later if you do want to go, if you do want to see the show. And uh, again, links to, uh, to get all of that, see all of that, is down there in the description. All right, you guys are awesome. La, 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 love you. And um, I'll catch you in the next video. Anthony Fantano, Weekly Track Roundup, forever.